Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making a baby blanket. I am going to be using pink and white. I actually had this pink color in my stash for like a year <laughs> and so I finally get a chance to use it. Um, so I'm making a striped blanket but it's also going to have shells and I'm going to try and make it a wavy design. We'll see how that works out. But before we start I do want to mention that I do have a Facebook page so make sure you uh, look at the more to more info of this video uh, to find the link to my Facebook so you can go and like it over there and uh, see all of my crochet videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button too. I put out uh, new videos every week on crochet so hopefully if you hit the subscribe button you'll get notified on when I make new videos. And uh, hit the like button if you uh, learn about something about this video or uh, like this video, you can just hit the like button. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. I am going to be using a K size hook, which is six and a half millimeters. Uh, but this pattern is very versatile, so you can use either a J hook, which is six millimeters, or um, I think even an L hook uh, you might be able to use. So um, there, you know, you can use bigger or smaller hooks. When you see me making this pattern, you'll see why it's very versatile. You can ma make whatever uh, size you want. Now I'm making a baby blanket, so it's going to be 36 inches by 40 inches. Uh, and I suggest you do have a ruler available uh, just to measure everything. But if you do not have a ruler, uh, you can kind of just eyeball it on how big you want it. And this is a baby blanket, but you can make it in a full-size blanket or even, you know, as big as a queen or king-size bed um, bedspread. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with pink, and I'm doing two rows of each color. So I'm doing two rows of pink, then two rows of white, then two rows of pink. But the pattern repeats itself after rows two and three. You're just going to be repeating rows two and row three. So I'll just show you the beginning of my blanket and then I'll give it a few days. Once I finish my blanket, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. So start off with a slip knot. So I'm just going to put my short end over my long end and then fold this down and get that right in the middle there and pull that up. There are so many other ways you can make slip knots, but that's just an easy way that I use. So what you want to do is you want to chain um, uh, an amount that is in groups of six. So I'm going to start chaining. So what you do is just yarn over and pull through. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to um, start uh, chaining all the way until I hit um, 36 inches and it's going to be in a multiple of six. So when I get back, um, I'll meet you back up when I have that and I'll tell you exactly how many chains I have. Okay, so I made a chain of 108. Uh, you can, like I said, make more or less. Just make sure it is in multiples of six. And now we are going to be working along this chain. So um, in the second chain from the hook, so the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything. So we have to count this one and then two. So this is the second chain from the hook. And what, I don't know if you noticed, but usually when you look at your chain, you look like this. I am actually going to be turning my chain towards me and to look on the back side of it, and you can see these ridges here, like so. So I'm going to be working in those back ridges just to make sure that my blanket has a clean edge. I just like the look of it. Uh, you can do whatever you feel most comfortable doing. So in the second chain from the hook, so we go one, two, we insert our hook right in there to do a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two. So we just did a single crochet. Now we are going to skip two chains, so one and two, and we're going to work in this chain right here for five double crochets. So yarn over and go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. That's a double crochet. So we're going to work five right into that 
chain space. So we already did one, so we have to do four more. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we just did five double crochet in that chain space. Now skip two chains. So skip this chain and this chain and work a single crochet into the next, the third one. So we go one, two, three, right into that third one there. We're gonna put a single crochet. So just insert your hook, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, now we are going to, let's see here, we'll just repeat that basically across. So skip two, one, two, and in this third one here, we're going to work five double crochet. So notice I yarned over, went into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So do four more right in that same chain space. That was three, four, and five. All right, so now we're gonna skip two chains, so one and two, and go into that third one there for a single crochet. All right, so we're repeating that pattern all the way across. So I'll show you once more and then I'll bit let you go on your own till we get to the end of the round, the row. So skip two chains, then in the third chain there, we're gonna put five double crochet. One, two, three, four, Five. Now skip two chains and go into that third chain there for a single crochet. Then skip two chains and do your five double crochet. So now you kind of get that uh, pattern all the way across. So just do that all the way across this row and then I will meet you back up when I am going to go on to row number two. So I got to the end of my row and I ended up having one extra chain, but what I'm going to end up doing is, you know, how we usually skip two and then go into the third one for a single crochet. I'm just going to single crochet in that last one. It's not going to be that big of a deal because uh, this project, um, you won't see it and it's at the edge of the thing and we're going to make a border. So I'm just going to put a single crochet right in that last one. So there. So if yours comes out, you know, with extra chains or not enough chains, just make sure you single crochet in the last one, okay? So now we're going to go on to row number two, and I'm still using pink. So row number two, we just have to chain up three, and this does count as your first double crochet of that row. We're going to uh, turn our work, okay, so we're working on this way. And now it says to do two more double crochets in that same space. So in that same place where we chained up two, or three, I'm sorry, um, we're going to do two more double crochet right in there. One and two. Okay, so this is actually a repeat um, round. So you want to pay attention to row two because... Um, Every row two, you're going to chain up three, turn your work, and put two double crochet right into that same space. Now we are going to put, or we're going to skip these two first uh, double crochets. You see this fan here? It looks like a fan. So there's two double crochet here, two double crochet here, and there's one in the middle. We are only going to be working at the one in the middle. We're going to be skipping these two, and we're going to be skipping these two for the rest of the pattern. So we're just going to put a single crochet right at the top of that one. 
Okay, and it's really easy to find it if you just spread your work apart. You see the two double crochet on this side, and you obviously know this is the middle, so you're going to put your single crochet right in there. Then we are going to skip, obviously, these two here, and we're going to work into the single crochet from the previous row. We're going to work five double crochet right in there. So work your five double crochet. One two, three, four, and five, and then go to the next fan. So we're going to go to the middle one there and just put our single crochet in that middle one there. Okay? Then we're going to move into that single crochet right here. So we're just going to do five double crochet into there. Okay, so it's very simple, you know, once you get the hang of this, it's almost like you don't need to count or you don't need to look for where your hook needs to go. You just look at the fan, see the middle one, know that you have to put a single crochet in there, go to the next valley, I say valley because these look like little hills. So this looks like a hill, we're going down into the valley, you have to put five double crochet in there going up the hill in the middle one there, put a single crochet, going down the hill into the valley, put five double cro crochet in there, going up. So you just follow that pattern all the way across. I'll show you there's five double crochet in this one here. Okay, and then a single crochet at the, in the middle one in the middle double crochet of that fan from the last row, like that, and then five double crochet into that single crochet. So that's row two. So once uh, I finish row two, I'll meet you back up uh, to go on to row three. And in row three, I'm going to be changing color to white. So you can choose to change your color or not, um, but I am going to, so I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I'll meet you back up when we're going to go on to row number three. So to end row two, um, we're just going to put the single crochet at the top here. Then uh, we want to put only three double crochet in that last stitch, in that last single crochet. So. Uh, don't put your normally you would put five but just put three like we did in the beginning that chain up three and then two double crochet that's considered our three double crochet of the start of this row so now we're going to end just like we started with three double crochet now working on row three oops you know what I want to change color though so on that last double crochet of that row make sure that you're only going through the those two loops and not going through those last two loops um, you want to pick up your new color and then pull that through to oops not like that <laughs> you want to pull that through to finish off your double crochet like that okay so now we want to chain one and turn our work and we're going to be working it like this. And then I'll um, actually tie a knot and sew these in later. But for row three, we are going to be uh, putting a single crochet right where we chained up one. So we're going to do a single crochet like that. And then we are going to skip these two double crochets and we're going to work into uh, that single crochet from the last row and put five double crochets in there. Okay, so basically what you have to do is skip two stitches. So you're putting a single crochet in the first stitch, skip two stitches, put a five double crochet in the next stitch, then skip two stitches and put a single crochet in the next stitch, then skip two stitches and put a, oops, I must have, if this happens to you too, I'm trying to like screw up a lot in this project already and I barely started. 
if you end up just putting four <laughs> double crochet in there, that's okay. Just put it in the third one, then just skip one stitch, and then just put your five double crochet in that single crochet. No one is going to notice. Like I said, this one's close to the edge, so nobody's going to even see that. Um, we're making a border on this blanket, so, but try not to, I mean, mess up as much as I did. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put five double crochet in that single crochet, then skip the two stitches and put the single crochet right there. Skip two stitches and put five double crochet. So, you kind of get the point now. So, I'll meet you back up when I am finished with this row, but basically after this row, you just repeat rows two and rows three, and I'll just show you how to finish, uh, or how to end row three, so you can go on to row number four, which will essentially be repeating row number two. So, I will let you get to work, and I'll meet you back up when I'm finishing row three. All right, so to finish row three, um, you do your, your five double crochet, and then you see those last three double crochet of uh, the previous row. We are going to single crochet in that chain three one right there. So we chained up three and did two double crochet, you know. So we're going to just insert our hook right into that chain three and just make a single crochet. So now you can go on to row four, which is just repeating row two. So if you need to rewind this video, or if you already know uh, how to do this, just, you know, chain up the three, turn your work, make two more double crochet right into that space, and then just continue like you have been, making your single crochet, then five double crochet, etc. So I'll meet you back up when I am uh, done with my blanket. One last thing I want to mention before I go uh, is just, um, so we did rows one, two, three, and I just showed you the beginning of row four, but just repeat, so row four will be repeated row two, so just repeat rows two and three. So you'll do two, three, two, three, two, three, etc. So just repeat rows two and three for um, however long you want your blanket to be. My blanket measures 36 inches um, right here. So I want to make this 40 inches long. So just measure, you know, around 40 inches. So uh, just measure your rows, make as many rows as you need to to get to that 40 inches. And remember, I'm changing color every two rows. So if you want to do the same thing, go right ahead. But um, if you are not changing any colors or if you're using multiple colors, just change them accordingly. And um, my blanket is going to measure 36 by 40 inches. And then uh, I'll show you how to do the last row, and then uh, we are going to be making a border around this blanket. So I'll show you that in the end. So I'll meet you back up in a few days when I finish this blanket, and um, then we'll show you the rest of the border and the last rows and everything to finish it up so it can be a very nice gift for a little baby. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome back. We are going to be finishing our blanket. I uh, just finished um, how many rows I wanted to do. I have 64 uh, rows and it's two uh, rows of each color. So it makes this nice wavy look, which is really cool. And I did all my measurements. Uh, looks like a cross. Um, it is 36 inches, which we did. I did show you uh, in the last segment, and then uh, measuring sideways, it comes to about 36 inches also, because we are going to be making a border, which then will make it probably to be around 40 inches. So, uh, if you want to continue your blanket um, or you know take back a few rows if you did extra however big you want your blanket to be like I said it needs to be um, 36 inches across and we are going to end it with 40 inches uh, so 
just do that and I'm gonna show you now the last uh, four rows because I do want to make it a little bit um, longer and then um, we are going to start on the border so let's just get started right away again I'm using a K size hook which is six and a half millimeters and I'm just finishing up this row so um, like you've been doing just attach your new yarn like that and chain up one and turn your work okay this is every time you start a new uh, color and a new row so we just did two of the pinks and so I'm doing two of the white in the same space that we just chained up one in we are going to do a single crochet okay now we are working in that single crochet from the previous row right here we are going to do five double crochet so that's one two three four and five now it's safe to trim my yarn from the previous row and I usually like to just tie a knot of the two colors you don't have to but it's just the way I do things um, just to secure it and then I'll sew those ends in and a big tip I have for you is to sew your ends in while you're working <laughs> because I waited till the end um, and it was a big headache so I suggest you you sew in your ends while you're working um, but then after you do the five double crochet in that single crochet from the previous row you're gonna skip these two stitches and go straight to the middle double crochet of that shell and do a single crochet then skipping these two stitches going to that single crochet from the previous row and doing five double crochet one two, three, four, and five. Okay, then we skip these two stitches and go to the middle stitch of that shell from the previous row and just do a single crochet. Then skip these two stitches and go to the single crochet of the previous row and do five double crochet one two three four five then skip these two go to the middle one single crochet that then skip those two do your five double crochet so you get the pattern I mean you've been doing this whole blanket so just do uh, this row and then I'll show you, uh, I'll come back when I'm finishing this row to show you how to go on to the next row. Alright, so I'm finishing up this row. All I have to do is just do a single crochet in this one, then five double crochets. And then to finish, we have to do a single crochet in the chain three. I'll show you. All right, so I did my five double crochet here. So you see one stitch here and one stitch here, and then this chain three from the previous row is there. And they kind of get hidden, so you really have to search for it. But just put a single crochet in there, like that. So now we're working on the next row, so just chain up three, turn your work, And by this point, yeah, your blanket is going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of effort to turn it. But um, in that same space that we chained up three right here, we are going to put two double crochet in there. So that's one 
and two. Now we're going to skip these two stitches and go to this stitch right here, which is the middle stitch of the shell from the previous row, and just do a single crochet right in there. Then skipping these two stitches, going into this single crochet from the previous row, and we're going in for five double crochet. Then skipping the next two stitches, going into this middle stitch of that shell from the previous row, and doing a single crochet in there. Then skipping these two stitches and going into the single crochet from the previous row for five double crochet. Skipping these two stitches, you guessed it, do a single crochet right up there. Skip those two stitches and do five double crochet in here. So you get the point, so just do this row and then I'll meet you back up at the end of this row and we're going to change our color since this is our second row of white. So we're going to change our color back to pink and then I'll show you how to do two, row two rows of that and then we will start our border. All right, so now I'm just finishing up this row, so I have to put five double crochet in here, which is the single crochet from the previous row. Okay, then I find the middle stitch of this shell and just put a single crochet in there and now in the single crochet right here, so we skip these two stitches and we go into this uh, single crochet here for three double crochet. But on the third double crochet, we are not going to finish. And I'll show you. So there's one and two. And now going in with the third one, just yarn over and pull through two loops there but don't pull through those last two loops to finish your double crochet. We are changing color back to pink. So I'm gonna loop the pink around there and pull that through instead. Okay, and then pull that. And then I'm going to chain one and turn this work here. Now working on this part right here, where we chained up one, we are going to put a single crochet right in that stitch. Like that. Then we are going to yarn over and go, we are going to skip these two stitches here, and we are going to go into this stitch, which is the single crochet from the last row, and we are going to do five double crochet. And then we're going to skip these two stitches and we're going to go into this middle stitch here for a single crochet. Then skip these two stitches, go into this stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous row, and do five double crochet. Okay. Then we're going to skip these two stitches and go into this stitch here for a single crochet. Skip these two stitches and in this stitch, again, it's a single crochet, so you know to put five double crochet in there. So you know the pattern now, so just finish this row and then I'll show you at the end of this row how to go on to the next row. Okay, I'm just uh, finishing up this row. Uh, I just have to do a single crochet here and then five double crochets here. And then remember from one of the previous rows, we just have to do a single crochet in that chain three. 
So we skip these two stitches, one and two, and there's the chain three right there. So we just have to go in there for a single crochet. Okay, now we chain three and turn our work and put two double crochet in that same space where we just chained up three. So we have to do two double crochet right there. Okay, whoops. There we go. Then we skip these two stitches and go into the middle stitch here for a single crochet. Then skip these two stitches and go in here for five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we skip these two stitches and go in this middle stitch here for a single crochet. Then skip these two stitches and go in here for five double crochet. And once you get this pattern, I mean, down pat, I mean, we've done so many rows now, it's just second nature now. Like, you just look at the work and you know exactly what to do. So, obviously, just go right in the middle stitch there, single crochet, find the single crochet there, and do five double crochets in it. So, I mean, that's why I'm starting to work really fast because I know exactly where I need to go because I've done so many rows of this so you'll get there too so now you know to okay skip these two stitches go in this stitch for a single crochet then skip these two stitches and go in this single crochet from the previous row for five double crochets Okay, so you know how to do this pattern, so I'll meet you back up at the end of this row, and we are ready to go on to our border. Alright, so I'm just finishing up this row here, so I just have to do five double crochet here. Four and five. And then I have to do a single crochet here. And then remember in this last stitch here, we do three double crochet. Now, if you want to have your border be a different color than this one right here, like I want my border to be pink. So I am going to be using pink. I'm not gonna be changing colors. But if you want your border to be a different color than this pink, then you have to change color right here. So you don't loop through these last two stitches. You put on your new color and pull through and then start your border with this new color. But for me, I'm going to be using pink as my border. So I am going to finish off this double crochet like that, okay? Now if you don't want a border, you can easily just fasten off right here by chaining one, cutting your yarn, and pulling that all the way through, and fast that'll be fastening off. Uh, and then you don't have to put a border. So there's so many different ways you can do this blanket. I mean, it would look nice even without a border. This is so beautiful. So uh, we can, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, just follow along and I will show you how to do the border. Uh, first things first though, you want to make sure that your uh, ends are all sewn in. So let me grab my yarn needle because you don't want to crochet over the top of those because then it'll just look messy. So just to sew things in, I usually just take a yarn needle thread it, and then go in uh, to the same color section, and just go through the stitches, just underneath the stitches. Okay. So I just have these four ends to uh, so in, so I'm going to do that real quick and then, and then we'll go on to the border. Okay, so now we're here. So I just sewed in uh, some ends and so um, now I finished 
this last double crochet and I uh, finished it up so now what we need to do is separate these three see these three uh, double crochet here we're gonna separate this one from the group and we're gonna go into that space between these two and we're going to do a slip stitch so just yarn over pull through and through so now and if you want you can turn your work this way because now we're going to be working along this edge here okay so we just did a slip stitch in there we're going to chain up three one two and three and that is going to count as our first double crochet now we're going to put two more double crochet in this space here so go in there yarn over go in there yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so there's one and two okay just like that now we're going to chain one and we are going to skip this single crochet here go to this row where this white one is and go we're going to work around this double crochet now so in, yarn over and insert your hook around that one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we have to put three double crochet in there so one two and three then chain one Skip this single crochet right there, go down to this uh, pink one here. This is a double crochet. So we're basically just skipping the single crochet rows and just working in the double crochet rows, okay? Which is pretty much every other row. So we're skipping this single crochet, we're going into this double crochet, and you, you can you know see it by separating manipulating the yarn so you can see where you need to go we need to go right here don't be afraid of it you can definitely manipulate it and pull it apart it's not going to unravel or anything so we need to put three double crochet in here then chain one okay then skip this single crochet go to this double crochet One, two, and three. Okay, then chain one. Skip this single crochet, go to this double crochet, and do th again three double crochet. And then chain one. Skip the single crochet row, do or go into the uh, double crochet row here. For three double crochets. Then chain one, skip that single crochet row and go into here where there's a double crochet. And you're basically working around the last double crochet of that row. You're working around that post. Then chain one and look for the next double crochet row or the row that has the double crochet at the end here. It's basically every other row. So just continue working this along the side and then I will uh, once I get to the bottom of my blanket or the very end of this side I will show you how to work the corner and how to work the bottom and uh, we'll go from there all right so I'm just finishing up this side here and now we're at the corner and where you put uh, where your first gap is here let's see here where your first gap is right here um, if you want to turn your work to look at it 
where you put these three, I mean you can't see this one now because I just crocheted over it with this, uh, uh, these three here, but when, where you put these last three double crochets in, this single crochet here, right underneath that is the chain that we our starting chain right here. So we are going to work three double crochet. I have to chain one here. Okay. So three double crochet, then chain two and three double crochet in that same chain uh, from our chain row. So I did three double crochet there, then chain two, and then you can basically turn your work upside down now. So you're working on your starting chain here. So in that same space where we just did those three double crochets, we're going to put three more double crochets, but make sure you chain two in between. So we did three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet in there like that okay now we're working along the uh, chain our foundation chain row here so what we want to do is chain one and in the first uh, space here where we start our first shell that's going to be where we start our first group so yarn over go right in there for three double crochet then chain one and now we're going to skip these two chains and we're going to go into where we put our single crochet right here so you can see the work so we're going to work in the single crochet chain then do the three double crochets in there and then chain one and go working into this shell space right there so I'll show you so just put your three double crochet where that single crochet is from your first row so it's three double crochet chain one and then where the next shell is right here it's upside down but we can see it here we're gonna put the three double crochet in there one two and three then chain one then we're looking at our work like this and we see the single crochet is right here so we're going to do three double crochet in there and if you can't see it then just count your chains so skip two chain one two right there so we're going to go in this chain here for three double crochet then chain one then skip these, this chain and this chain and go into this one right here which is where your single crochet was. So do three double crochet in there. Then chain one. Then skip two chains and go into this gapping space right here which is where that shell is for three double crochets. chain one, skip two chains, go into this one where that single crochet is. So just continue uh, working this pattern all the way across this row and then I'll meet you up and I'll show you how to do the next corner and working up the side. All right, so I'm just coming up on the end here. Uh, now, this may get a little confusing for you, so um, I just wanna try to stretch these apart so you can see everything. But this is our last shell here. So you see one, two, three, four, five, and this big, huge space right here where my finger is poking through. That's where we wanna put our three double crochet. So one, two, and three, and then chain one. And then, on the side here, if you pull this apart, there's one, two, three, four, five double crochet in that shell. But if you pull this apart, there's a stitch 
see, where is it? Right here. There's a stitch right here. <laughs> it is a stitch, I swear. <laughs> but it's um, the chain three. It's considered a chain three. So there it is right here. So one, two, three. You can't really see it very well, but I'm sticking my finger through there. So that is where we are going to put our corner stitches in, which is a three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet. And then we'll be turning this to the side. So I'll show you right here. So in this chain three space right here, we are going to put three double crochet. Whoopsie, start over. We're putting three double crochet, one, two, and three, and then we'll chain two, and then we'll put three more double crochet, one, two, and three. And notice I'm turning my work to the side like this because we're going to be working along this side now. And along this side, I'll tell you what it says. Okay, so we're working along this side, and it says to chain one after that la that one right there, that group. Then put three double crochet into uh, each of the half shells. So um, if you see here, the half shells, meaning three stitches, so around the chain three of each, uh, every other row. So it's basically like on the other side we did on, around the double crochet. So these chain threes are basically the double crochet. So this is our first one right here. So we're just going to put three double crochet around that. One, two, and three, like that. Chain one. And then we're going to skip this single crochet here, uh, but we're going to work on this chain up three right here, which is basically, like I said, a double crochet. So we're going to work three double crochets in there. Okay, chain one. Skip that single crochet and go to that. So basically every other row, you're working around the post to do three double crochet, then chain one, then three double crochet, then chain one, skip that row, go to this row, and do three double crochet. And then chain one, skip this row, go to this row, just like that. So you do this row, and then I'll show you how to do the next corner, and we'll be back up at the top and of our work, and then I'll show you how to do that last side. So just continue doing this, and I'll meet you back up when I'm on uh, the corner. Alright, so uh, now we're working uh, in the corner here. So I just did the three double crochets here, and I'm going to chain one. And now this row is the chain up three. So we're going to work right in there by doing three double crochets. Then chain two, and then three more double crochets. like that. Then chain one. Now we're working on this side here. And let's see here. It says what oh, we just chained up or chain one. So now we're going to work in the let's see here. Just double crochets and in the single crochets. So we're working in this single crochet here by doing three double crochet. One, two, 
three. You may want to start doing a shell, but don't do a shell in there. Just do your three double crochets and chain one. Then skip these two stitches and work in the middle stitch of the shell and do the three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Then chain one and work in the single crochet. Where is it? One, two, there it is. By doing three double crochets in there, then chain one, skip the next two stitches and go into that third stitch right there, which is the middle stitch of the shell, and work your three double crochet in there. Then chain one, go to the single crochet, and do three double crochets in there. Then chain one and do a the double crochets, three double crochets in that middle stitch of the shell. Then chain one. And by now you should know what to do. So I will do the rest of this row and I'll show you uh, how to do the next the uh, when we get up to the corner and then going on to the next round. Okay, so now I'm just coming up to this corner here and you can see where my first uh, group of the double crochets are. So we're going to work in that same space that those are in and do three double crochet and then chain two and then slip stitch. Okay, so I did my three double crochet, chain two, then slip stitch to that first chain up three right there. Okay, like that. Chain one, turn your work. Now we're still working on the border and what we're going to do in this chain two space here, which is the corner, we are just going to make a single crochet, okay, then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then put another single crochet in that corner, like so. So there's that. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to single crochet in this chain one hole here. Single crochet, like that. Chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain one right here. Chain three, one, two, and three. Go to the next chain one space and do a single crochet in there. Then chain three, one, two, and three, and in the next hole there, do a single crochet. And do this all the way across, so just chain three, go to the next hole there, single crochet, chain three, so do this all the way across and then I'll meet you up in the corner and we'll go, uh, I'll work the corner and then do the side. Okay, so I'm at the next corner here. So we just have to chain three and then go into that corner with a single crochet. But now that we're in the corner, we're not gonna chain three, we're actually gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then go back into that corner for a single crochet. Okay, so that's the corner. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm turning my work to the side now, so I'm working up the side, and you can turn your work accordingly, like so. And now we're just going to work a single crochet in that next chain one space, and then chain three, and doing the same thing, working in that same, or that chain one space, the next chain one space for a single crochet, then chain three, go into the next chain one space 
for a single crochet, then chain three, then go into the next chain one space for a single crochet, then chain three, the next chain one space for a single crochet. Just continue doing that all the way to the next corner. And in the next corner, we're gonna repeat what we just did in this last corner, where we're gonna do a single crochet in there, chain five, and do a single crochet in the same corner. So uh, I will meet you back up when I get to the next corner, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so I'm at this next corner here, so I'm just gonna chain three and go into that corner for a single crochet then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and go back into that same corner for a single crochet, like that. So that's your corner. Now we're gonna chain three, and then go into the next chain one space, which is along this side, which is the bottom side of your uh, blanket here. Okay, so we're working a single crochet in that chain one space, chain three, one, two, and three, working a single crochet in that chain one space, chain three, and just continue this all the way across, and then I'll meet you uh, up when I'm at the next corner. All right, so I'm coming up on this next corner here, so you pretty much know what to do. Uh, chain three here and then go into that corner for a single crochet then chain five and then go in back into that same corner with another single crochet and then you can turn your work like this so that you're working up this last uh, side here and chain three one two and three and go into this next chain one space, so we're gonna do a single crochet in there, chain of three, go into the next single, or uh, chain one space for a single crochet, then chain three, and now it's just coming second nature. So uh, just finish off this side and I'll show you how to connect to the beginning. Alright, so I'm just coming up on the last corner here, and here's our chain 5 space uh, from the beginning of this round, and our single crochet here. So what we're just going to do is just do the three uh, chains there, and we're just going to slip stitch to that first single crochet of this round. Like that. Okay, now going on to the next round, uh, we're not going to turn our work or anything. Uh, this is our final round, and then we'll be finished with our blanket. Uh, but what we have to do is slip stitch into this chain five space right here. So go right into that space and then do a slip stitch like that. So now we're in that space. Now we want to chain up three. So one, two, and three, and that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. So again, in this same chain five space, in this corner, we are going to add six double crochet in here. So yarn over, go into that same corner space right there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So we need now five more. And six. All right. So now it looks like we have chain up three and then six double crochet, which this train of three is counted as a double crochet, so it's actually seven double crochets in that space. Then we are going to move on to this side right here, and we're, there's a single crochet right here, so we're just going to single crochet right into that single crochet. Like that. And now there's a chain three space here, so we're going to do 
uh, five double crochets in that chain three space. So basically doing a shell, which we've been doing this whole project. <laughs> so we're just going to put five double crochet right in that chain three space. One, two, three, and four, and five. Okay, now there's that single crochet, so we have to do a single crochet right in there. Then, let me get my work up here so I can work easily. This blanket is getting heavy. <laughs> Good thing we're almost done. Now in this next chain three space, we're gonna do it again. So put five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then there's a single crochet there, so we're gonna put a single crochet in there. So basically, you're going to single crochet in every single crochet, and you're gonna put uh, five double crochets in each chain three space, and seven double crochets in each corner. So I will uh, do this row across here to the next corner and I'll show you exactly what I mean up by doing seven double crochets in the corner. So I'll meet you back up at that point. Okay, so I'm at the next corner here. So uh, we have to single crochet in that uh, single crochet that's in the corner right there. Okay, now we're going to do seven double crochet. So one two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all in that same corner, okay? Then there's that single crochet right there, so we're just going to single crochet right in there. Okay, now we're working on the side. And we are going to be doing five double crochet in those chain three spaces and single crocheting in each of the uh, single crochets along this side. So basically just really doing exactly what you did on the first side to the second side. So uh, now you know and then once you get to the next corner make sure you do uh, the single crochet and then chain or I'm sorry do seven double crochet in the in the corner and then the single crochet in the uh, single crochet after the corner and do your fi five double crochets in each chain space and so on and so forth so do that all the way around your whole blanket and I will meet you back up when I'm finished with everything and finished uh, and starting to uh, fasten off. So I'll show you how to fasten off and we'll be finished with our blanket. Alright, so I'm just finishing up this last uh, section here. Alright, so I put my five double crochets in that chain three space and now I'm back to the beginning corner and we are going to do a slip stitch at the bottom of that chain three that we chained up three at at the bottom of there. So just do insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, er, and pull through like that. Then to fasten off, because we're done with our blanket, we're just going to chain up one and cut our yarn and pull that all the way through like that. Pull tight. Okay, so now our blanket is complete. And all you want to do is just sew in um, your ends and trim them. And let me fold this up really quick. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So there you have it. The edge has more of like a frilly edge to make it really cute and girly. And the stitch itself has uh, looks like a wave, which is really cool, the way we made that. So 
so our blanket is complete i hope you learned something from this and enjoyed making this blanket with me i know i enjoyed it very much it took me about a week to make and i used uh for white i used a uh, red heart with love yarn in white and then for the pink i used uh sensations rainbow classic um which is from joanne's uh joanne stores um so if you want to find this specific uh, yarn it's sensations so um, I'm not really sure oh it says pink solid rainbow classic so it's pink solid so uh, if you want to use the exact yarns I did those are the two colors I used and again we used a K size hook six and a half millimeters so you can make your own, but thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you have um, any questions, just leave a comment. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to my channel and go like my Facebook page. All the links are in the description of this video, as well as the pattern. Uh, I did a variation off of the pattern, actually. Um, I found this pattern online as a free pattern, but I did my own variation on it. So you can follow along with this video, but use that pattern as a written guide. And I'll put all the links in the description of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Happy hooking!